Good morning, Bobcats, and happy Tuesday, otherwise known as Pajama Day around Buck Lake Elementary School. Cookie Dough's looking a little sour this morning because he didn't get to, I for, forgot his pajamas, but he does have his reindeer ears. So, we are excited to come to you today. What a fun week we are having. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today is Tuesday, December the 15th, and it's Special Area Day 3. Hey, don't forget those landers. Don't forget to go to the restroom, and don't forget your art supplies when you're headed towards Miss McDowell's classroom. Let's check out what's cooking today in the Buck Lake Cafeteria on the menu for today, or so they say. We're having turkey, bologna cheese sandwiches, baby carrots, lima beans. You're going to get your choice of white chocolate or strawberry milk. If you're going to be eating in your classrooms, teachers, and not getting lunch from the lunchroom, please let Miss Shirley know ASAP, like yesterday. She should already know for her planning purposes. Don't forget to use those great manners with all of our amazing cafeteria helpers. Let's take a look at our weather forecast for this terrific Tuesday. The high will be 64 and the low will be 48 with partly cloudy skies today. We received our weather report from the North Pole very early this morning. It's going to be a little warmer. It's going to be 7 degrees and a low of negative 2. We can't even comprehend that, can we? That is cold. That's going to make your nose shiver, Bobcat. We want to wish these Bobcats a very happy birthday from their Bobcat family, whether you're at home or at school. Happy birthday in fifth grade to Cameron Wilkin and also Ainsley Colvin in fifth grade. We've got Miss Caroline Patron in kindergarten, Miss Huggin Shanks class, who happens to be having her birthday. She happens to be a sweet little neighbor of Miss Young. I hope all of you have a wonderful birthday today. Here's a few jokes to tickle your funny bone this terrific Tuesday. What time do ducks wake up? At the quack of dawn. Why did the pony get sent to bed early? He wouldn't stop coursing around. Did you hear about the man who slept under an old tractor? He wanted to wake up oily in the morning. I know they get better with every new day, don't they? Our quote of the week, you don't need to have a cape to be a hero. You just need to care. So what have you decided that you can do to show about someone you care? We talked about last week. You don't have to be, have a big fat wallet. You don't have to have a ton of money. You don't have to have debit cards and credit cards and checkbooks and a big savings account. You just have to care. What have you decided to do for somebody to show them that you care? I hear Miss Widener's class are doing some special things that I can't wait to share with you. I was quite impressed with them. Thank you to all of our faithful viewers who join us each day. Our holiday trivia game is going to look a little bit different this year. So our winner from the drawing for our viewers yesterday was, are you ready? Drum roll. Congratulations to Miss Kerner's class. You shared a book that had the word Santa in it. Miss Kerner, thank you for sharing that book with us. She tells us it's one of her very favorites. I'll put a picture of it at the end of WBLS. Hey, teachers, be on the lookout for this guy. So be on the lookout for Bob the Elf. He'll be hidden each day, but not on a shelf. He may be outside or he may be in. If you find him, a prize you will win. We also want to congratulate Miss Jefferson, who found Bob in the front office hallway 
on Monday. Way to go, Miss Jefferson. Teachers, be on the lookout for Bob all week. And if you find him, let Miss Quiggins or Mr. Millard know. We can't wait to see who finds Bob today. Today, of course, is pajama day. We hope you joined us. Send us all those pictures to Miss Ryan at Ryan R at LeonSchools.net. CC Miss Young at YoungK at LeonSchools.net. Love to share those pictures with you. Now, tomorrow, our wonderful Wednesday, which brings all of our Buck Lake family together, whether you're at home or school, we're going to light up the school with our festive attire. So we can't wait to see all of your holiday attire tomorrow. Listen, Miss Young's all about mm, gaudy. No, no. The more festive, the better. So listen, Christmas lights around your neck, check. Sequin bright red sweater, check. Multiple pair of reindeer headband, check. Whatever you, you're feeling tomorrow and snap those pictures and send them on in to us. Hey, that's all for today, Bobcats. Remember to purr. Oh, stop. Wait a minute. We almost didn't do our trivia book question for today you had to listen all the way to the very end didn't you okay so this is the deal today if you would like to be in the running for a twenty dollar books million gift card teachers you can buy a lot of little books or one big book however you choose to do it first of all miss kerner you can send somebody down to pick this up after um 8 30 this morning this is yours but let's see who can win for tomorrow. So I need you to send in the title and a picture of the cover of a book that has the word North Pole in it. It has to be a real book with a real author and real illustrator. So send that in. We'll do um, a drawing this afternoon and we will announce the winner of the Books A Million gift card tomorrow morning on the news. Hey, listen, that's all today for today, Bobcats, for real. Remember to purr, be prepared, be upstanding, be responsible, and be respectful citizens. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Have a great day, Bobcats.